Hello, friends. Who's ready for a long weekend? I know I am. Before we set out on our next adventure, I wanted to just remind everyone that bears love to break into cars. It happens all of the time, especially at trailheads where cars are left unattended for hours. This is your friendly reminder to clear out all the things from your cars that smell good. This includes, of course, food, air fresheners, first aid, sunscreen, toiletries, lotions, and gums. Anything that smells interesting. Bears can cause thousands of dollars worth of damage within minutes, and some insurance companies don't cover hungry bears. Before I hit the trail, I take a moment to deep clean my car at the local car wash. This not only keeps the bears at bay, but it keeps my car clean while traveling. It's so easy to forget about that little piece of food you dropped while driving, or the candy wrapper you shoved under your seat for whatever reason. Fun fact. When I was a child, I was absolutely terrified of the car wash. I hid under the seat, covered by a blanket, crying the entire time we were in the tube of doom! My car wash anxiety grew a bit when I got into a car accident while in the car wash. Sorry, the tube of doom! I'm better now about it, but I can't say that I don't feel a little nervous every time I use one. There's that pesky piece of popcorn. This is exactly what I'm talking about, my friends. Look at all those crumbs. And now for my favorite part. The center console of my car and the passenger seat inevitably become my junk pile when I'm on the road. Cleaning this area out makes me feel so good about my ability to adult. I wonder what this collection of dirt and dust and crumbs smells like to a hungry bear. I'm really not interested in finding out. Treasure! Yes, I have a treasure box that I travel with. It's a collection of things I've found along the way, and it makes me feel like I have a home when I'm on the road. What's in my treasure box? Well, I have a patron saint of backpacker, St. Bernard. Of course, I have a tiny little Bigfoot, because who doesn't? I have an Eagle Scout pin that my son gave me when he earned his Eagle Scout. A fairy bell. Who remembers these from the 90s? A whistle that I got from uh, hiking the Grand Tetons made out of an antler. Another Bigfoot. and rocks. Lots of rocks, crystals, minerals, rocks. I love rocks. All of these little knickknacks and doodads bring me joy, and I love having them with me when I'm traveling around the country. Okay, y'all, let's get back to cleaning. I like to dust all of the little vents out, make sure everything is nice and tidy. I don't think there's anything in there that the bears are going to want, but it makes me feel good. Now that I'm done with the interior, let's talk about the exterior. I noticed this crud on my car door a couple months ago and decided that since I'm cleaning out my car, I might as well detail it as well. I bought this back to black stuff, hoping it makes my Subaru look new again. The employee at the store thinks it's permanently damaged, but I have hope. After a couple of passes with these nifty microfiber pads, it looks pretty good. Uh, It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. I applied this back to black on all of the black parts of the exterior of my car. My intention is to make sure that I'm taking the best care of my car as possible. This includes making sure that the bears ignore my car while I'm on trail. 
Oh, sorry, friend, you have to go. Remember, anything that smells is an invitation to a bear. Happy trails!